morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Marcello Blanc. Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Marcello Blanco. I'm Anna Masseri, reporting from the FLNN. Faith Lutheran incorporates prayer in almost everything they do. It's a scene of chaos and uncertainty. Thanks for tuning in to the FLNN Sports Broadcast. Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Anna Masseri. And I'm Ian. Thanks for tuning in to the FLNN. Today, there is a girls' varsity basketball game against Innovations Academy at 5 and a boys' game at 6.30. It's a maroon out, so make sure to come out and support your Crusaders. Veganism is a widespread phenomenon across America and is now spreading quickly around faith. We now go to reporter Zoe Green, who found out exactly what students think of vegan food. Hi, this is Zoe Green from the FLNN. Today, we're going to be exploring the world of veganism. Sophia and Reese informed us on what it is like to be vegan. I feel a lot better and my stomach never hurts and I'm uh, more energized. I feel like I have um, a lot more energy, especially when I work out. Mostly salads, but a lot of vegetables and anything that you can get protein from. We selected random FLHS students to try Violet's Vegan's most famous dish, Sassy Wings. <laughs> It's not going to be edible. Yes, it is. Just eat it. Okay. Okay. Eat it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Why, what is it? Seriously, what is that? <laughs> you have to eat it with What? It's not poop. I promise, I promise it's not poop. It's food. It's food. We got it from a restaurant. I don't want to. <laughs> you ever convert? Why or why not? I do eat vegetables and such, but I don't know if I would eat nothing but vegetables. Just because I like meat. If you want some more vegan food, go to Violet's Cafe. This is Zoe Green signing off from the FLNN. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Zori. It looks like we actually have some leftover vegan chicken from Zori, and uh, we're gonna try it on set. So uh, here goes nothing. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, it's it's not that good either. Um, but we're gonna go on to our next story. This year, people are starting to celebrate Christmas earlier and earlier, even as early as October. Courtney Wardle reports more on this year's Christmas hype. I'm Courtney Wardle reporting with the FLNN. And as you can see, I'm ready for Christmas. I've already bought gifts for friends, decorated my room a little bit, but we took to the halls of Faith Lutheran to see if you were ready for Christmas. My favorite holiday would probably be Christmas. Christmas? We asked these Christmas enthusiasts if they were already decorated for this wonderful holiday. And if they weren't already decorated, when they planned on beginning to. Uh, I, I have like three Christmas trees, one in every corner, because that way I can set up for like every month leading up. So I already, I already have the October Christmas tree done. Now it's November Christmas tree and then December Christmas tree. No, I am not. No. I usually start decorating around like the beginning of December sometime in December, like early December or something. Throughout my life, I've had people tell me that it's ridiculous to set up for the holiday of the year before Thanksgiving. Some even called it blasphemous. I wanted to see how other students at Faith Lutheran felt about this topic. They should absolutely do it. And I think we should start in summer, actually, because then this way <clears throat> we can get uh, kind of presents. So like instead of the 12 days of Christmas, we can get like the 12 months of Christmas. So as soon as December's over, we can actually start in January. I mean, I don't really care that much. <laughs> it's fine. It's a little extravagant and like <laughs> a little extra, but I get the excitement like Christmas is a great holiday, so. As you can see, it's never too early to celebrate Christmas for some, including us here at Faith. From the FLNN, I'm Courtney Wardle. Back to you in the studio. 
Thank you, Courtney. Critical Care Comics is a foundation that brings books to children in hospitals to help with the discomfort from stress from living in a hospital. Jenna got the inside scoop on this foundation. Hi, I'm Jennifer Eflin at the Vegas Valley Comic Festival. For free, let's go learn more. Keith Thompson, as the author of a science fiction trilogy, has been to many of these conventions. Um, it's a lot of fun to come out to these local events, especially the ones at the library. It, these are really great for the community because they're small, but they bring a lot of people in who expose are exposed to the books and things that the creators have put together. And there's so many great opportunities to meet other creators and network with them. Very Awesome Girls is a local-based club with opportunities for geeky girls in the community. I think for a long time it was almost like a, like a boys thing that boys could really only do it and I grew up playing video games and reading comics and there's a lot of really good rich stories in there and it's a really good experience. We're making sure that the nerd community and the geek community is open for everyone and with our organization we donate all of our stuff to charity. We believe in charitable initiatives and making the world a better place so to have events like this that allow us to do that and also allow people to enjoy the geeky stuff that they like, it's a win-win for everybody. Critical Care Comics distributes comics and other merchandise to children in hospitals. Our founder, Jason, uh, had leukemia as a kid. Uh, from 16 to 17, he missed out on everything that a teenager is supposed to experience. So what his parents did while he was in chemo, while he was getting blood drawn, while he basically lived in the hospital, they kept up on his comic collection. He had all these comics and he didn't want, he didn't know what to do with them. He wanted to give back. He wanted to do what his parents did for him. So that's where Critical Care Comics was born. We have scheduled visits once a month for each hospital, so we go to two hospitals a month. Thanks for watching. I'm Jenna for FLNN, signing out. Thank you, Jenna. Be sure to follow at FL Minis on Instagram for more stories made by Steven Schneider. Again, that's FL underscore Minis. That's all for this week. Make sure to tune in next Friday at 1055 for more news and, and interesting stories. Signing out for the FLNN, I'm Ian McFarlane. And I'm Anna Masseri. God, God bless. bless.